Cause it's JP Fluella. Yes, we're back with another video for you. And it is buying season. It is time to learn the seven hacks on how to buy homes like a pro. So we're gonna start with number one, which is get out of your own way. And what I mean by that is by getting out of your own way and just letting letting all of the things that you can soak in and all the people that around you to just, you know, get rid of all the negative energy and just get out of your own way and let people help you. Uh, what we see a lot of times that creates a lot of stress on the buying season is coming in to the process with so much preconceived ideas and, you know, I know a realtor from this state. I know my cousin was a realtor. You know, my, you know, third sister's brother's wife used to be a realtor. She sold one house and, you know, now everybody's an expert. So if you just get rid of that, get rid of that and just come in with an open mind, you're going to have a great real estate experience. All right. So number two is know what you want. And so... I know that I want to be rural. I know that I need a three bed, two bath, or I know that I need a finished basement. I know that I want to be in this school district, or I want to be close to this church or whatever it is that you need. Know exactly what you want, because the worst part of the process is just really dialing it down to the specific things that you need, not versus the things that you want. And that's the other thing too, is, is part of that and that actually brings me to step number three, which is get real. I mean, not just real estate, but coming in, especially if you're a first time home buyer, is really just dialing in the things that you can afford versus the last house that you lived in. Because usually what ends up happening is that, you know, first time home buyers, as a first time home buyer, you come in, I'm like, man, I, you know, I lived at home. My parents had a three car garage. They lived on six acres. They had, it was all brick ranch. You know, they had all the nice things. They had the granites. They had the, you know, the, the golden faucets, all the things that were just so great that made it for such a nice luxury living. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's probably not realistic for your first house. The best thing to do is buy that house that you could afford and then live in it a few years, take that equity, roll it into the next one, and then roll it into the next one, and maybe by house four or maybe house five, you get all the things, the three-car garages, the brick, the rancher, the acreage, you know, the horses, the outbuildings, you know, all the fun cars, all of those things, um, because I'm willing to bet you that your folks, that was not their first house as well. So uh, now number four is... I can't stress this enough, not just because it's my channel, but use a real estate agent because we know the area. We know what lenders to use. We know um, what title companies to use. We know, you know, we know a lot of things about the area. All right, so make sure you interview at least two, if not three agents because the agents are gonna know and when you find the right one that jives with your personality, you are going to be married to that agent for at least 30 days, if not 45. Depending on where you live, it could be even six months. So you want to make sure it's somebody that you can call. You can have a decent conversation. You're not combative. It's not emotional. They try to like help you tone down the emotions because just buying a house by itself is emotional. And then how you have all these moving parts that go with it can be very daunting. And so you want to make sure that you date before you marry. So, all right. Number five is understand your power, which is what that means is, is you're knowing, you know, as much as you can know about the seller, get to know as much as you can about the neighborhood, get to know as much about the history of that house. Your agent can help you with that. And also getting a real estate agent that is very experienced in negotiations because Right now, as the market is starting to heat up over the summer, you know, learn, knowing how to navigate, you know, multiple offers and, you know, price reductions and concessions and all of these big words is going to be very, very powerful for you when you are getting 
when you find the right house and trying to get that thing under contract and getting the best deal. So understanding your power. All right, and number six is asking the right questions, which is, you know, how long have they been in the house? Um, you know, it also in asking the right questions of your real estate agent, like, hey, how long have you been in the business? How many deals have you done? You know, how long have you lived in the area? You know, these are great questions to ask your real estate agent, asking the right questions about, hey, you know, do I need to get a roof inspection? Is that normal in this area? Do I need to have the plumbing and the heating and the floors inspected? Do I need to have a foundation inspection, structural? You know, do I need to have the outbuildings inspected? You know, how do I, if something goes wrong, how do I get those things fixed before I move in? You know, these are all really, really great questions. And then lastly, understanding the process. How do I get from contract to close? And all of these things are in my book, The Real Estate Brain. It is on Amazon. Check out the link below. You get yourself a copy and you can learn all the things. I literally downloaded my brain into this book. So everything that I know, you will now know. So we'll catch you guys on the next video. And make sure you hit that click and get yourself a copy. May hit you hit subscribe, hit the like. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. You made it to the end of this video. If you'd like to see more of what's going on on our channel, you can watch that video, you can watch that video, or you can subscribe. Catch you next time. Peace.